Hey guys, before starting today's video, I want to share something really important to you. Why you actually can't make money out of AdSense. So I want to show you guys something. This is uh, one of my client's account. Today he made $55. Yesterday was $32. Uh, he did a consultation with me. So, you know, it's back up. So last 28 days, it was $2,000. So I'm gonna share a lot of information today why you actually can't make money with AdSense. Uh, it's gonna help you guys a lot uh, understanding the AdSense business overall. So watch this video till the end and I will answer any question you have on the comment section. Thanks. So you've been working with AdSense for a very long time but you are not quite there yet. Like you're not even making $20 a day. And it's a really big problem because you're actually spending your time uh, into something that's actually not working. And all you guys know that time is money. So eventually, you're actually losing a lot of money of your life. So here are really six things that I want to share that actually hampering your AdSense business, not just AdSense business, with any kind of business that you're doing. So number one is you are actually focusing on money. What I mean by that is actually you're not picking up the quality that people actually want. You're focusing on money, you're focusing on the CPC, the click-through rate, uh, what kind of content you want to write, and uh, which is the highest paying CPC content, and you're just wasting a lot of time instead of like trying to write uh, the best piece that you can afford. Uh, I can give you a really good example. There's a website called WP Beginners, and at the when they started back in 2013 or like 15 or something, uh, from the very beginning, they're very focused on user-centric. That means if you have a problem with your WordPress and you type it out on uh, Google, Google will eventually lend you to a WordPress beginner website because they actually researched what kind of content people want and they put out really high quality content. And that's how WP Beginner is right now a billion, like a million dollar company. The number two is you don't have a specific goal. What I mean by specific goal is that you're like, you know what, I'm going to make some money from uh, AdSense and then I'm going to make create another website and then if that doesn't work, I'm going to create another website. If that doesn't work, I'm going to create another one. This is not a very specific goal. You need to have a very specific goal on what kind of investments that you want to make. For example, AdSense arbitrage is a very short-term investment. You're going to spend money to make money, right? Uh, Blogging, it's a it's a long term investment. Like you're gonna spend a very good portion of your life every day uh, to create a really good blog that's gonna affect your earning or your life after quite some time. Uh, creating a web app, not only you're focusing on actions, but you're kind of focusing on the SaaS platform. If you guys don't know what SaaS is, it's called software as a service. So you're kind of like a, you need to have the most specific goal, like what is my goal for the year 2020? What is my goal for the year 2021? How can I create my AdSense business from $10 a day to $100 a day? What do I need to do? Do I need more traffic? Do I need to target more good countries? What is my locality? What kind of language I'm writing? You need to have a very specific goal. Number three is buying all the courses. I have a lot of clients who actually don't do any of the work that I put on. They just want to buy all the courses that they can find on the internet. And maybe someday they'll get a magic course, which is kind of like a help them to make more money and more money. Which is, I don't know if that's true. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but it certainly is not. It doesn't matter whatever your course uh, you want to buy. That course needs to be really good. The instructor needs to be helpful to their students. It's not like a $10 ebook or a $100 video course. Uh, a $10 ebook can have as much as effect as a $1,000 or a $100 video course. So you need to make sure that the course that you get, you do understand and you do the work. Uh, you have to do the work, there is no alternative. You need to give you time and energy and money to do the work. So number four is falling into fake AdSense gurus. Uh, if you didn't know, one of the videos that I created, I kind of like a roasted a guy who was selling bullshit products about AdSense. You need to follow a really good instructor when it comes to AdSense. I have seven years uh, working in AdSense AdMob. I actually worked in Google uh, back in 2017 and 18. 
uh, <laughs> funny enough, I was working in the Android department. So I kind of know how the Google thing works, but I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who are more qualified, more experienced than me in terms of when it comes to building a business with AdSense. So if you find a really good uh, instructor, please uh, keep with him. Don't just be like, you know, I bought the course, you know, I'm talking with you on Skype, I'm talking with you on live chat or Facebook, that's it. Be friends with him, you know, the more you, you it's your profit. Number five is overdoing something. I have a couple of uh, clients who are like, oh my God, is the SEO, what is the uh, long tail ranking system? I need to write 600 long articles. I need to write 200 words articles. I need to do this. I need to have backlinks, you know, all this. Like you guys are overdoing. Please, please do not overdo. Do not complicate stuff that's easy. If the SEO is not working for you, try to approach different kind of channels. You have Twitter, you have Facebook, you have Pinterest. Try to create a business on those. If you look, if you go to the similar web and you put those social medias monthly traffic, there are over 1 billion traffic. And if you can't get at least 10,000 every month from those channels, it's your loss actually. Because you are kind of like a focusing only on the SEO. Do not focus on the Google that much. You can also focus on other terms of the internet like Bing, Yandex, and many other things. I'm gonna give you a personal advice, which is tr if you know uh, more than one language other than English, like you, you can be from India, no Hindi, Gujarati, Marathi, uh, Bangla, whatever your language will be, or you can be from Saudi Arabia, no Arabic, or you know any kind of language, try to create a community on your own. In that way, you can be more advanced than any other people. I have a client who has a national curricular uh, questions sharing website. He helps students to take uh, exams in Arabic language. And most of his uh, uh, website is actually on Arabic language and he gets 50,000 organic traffic from Google. That's the power of a community base. And he's pretty quite uh, happy his improvement and everything. So number six, I'm going to talk about is trying to cheat the system. So uh, I don't know if you guys kind of like a, a feel this way, but a lot of you guys try to cheat the system. Like you pay 10 to 15 people to come to your website, click on your ads, and then stay on the uh, advertiser's website. So making sure that your clicks doesn't uh, approve as invalid clicks. You really think that Google doesn't know that? Google knows everything. Google knows what you're doing, what you're eating, who you're seeing every day. Google knows everything. So if you're trying to uh, cheat the system, what's going to happen is that you're going to get banned. You're going to get suspended uh, from Google. And one of the worst uh, part about getting banned from Google is you can't open another account because they, they know you very well. So try to not cheat the system. Try to play within the system. You can bend the laws, but don't break the laws. And that's how you can actually have a sustainable AdSense business. And the reason for me creating this video is kind of like a trying to find the worst thing in your uh, business and criticize it and making sure that you actually don't do those stuff. Uh, and that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button and watching this video, do click on the subscribe button. I will share more videos. Click on the notification button. Make sure that uh, you don't uh, miss any of my video. If you have any question, please do put on the comment section and I will answer your question as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.